Yik Yak allows people to post comments that can be seen by others in your immediate vicinity. The key to Yik Yak is that posts are anonymous, and that opens the door to abuse. In response to what happened on Friday with the students from the community, concerned GC students met to form a diversity plan. They held a meeting Saturday at the Smith House. That resulted in the formation of the GC coalition and some very emotional expressions. This whole situation is really incredibly frightening and, and dissettling and, and frankly scary. Our work is so not done. It's so, it's so not done. It, I don't even feel like we've started. <laughs> like I feel like every single time something like this happens, we have to start over. The coalition's aim is to bring the campus together and shed light on inequality that exists on campus. The coalition has created a logo to symbolize unity and positivity. The logo suggests social media hashtags such as hashtag not okay to spread the word. The group also plans to make posters and chalk on campus. Members have created a Facebook group called GC Coalition hashtag not okay. The long-term plan is to prevent a repeat of the kind of ugliness that happened Friday on campus. To get involved in this initiative, simply request to join the Facebook group to stay informed on upcoming meetings and activities. Before the Friday incident, we talked to students about Yik Yak. And some people I know, they find it absolutely hilarious. Like, I have one friend, and he's like, is constantly trying to think of a funny Yik Yak to do. But some people are just like, no, that's stupid. But, I don't know, it just depends. I don't really know how I would feel about anonymous people posting things just because when you take away the ability to know who's saying what, there's so much more freedom there and people can abuse that freedom to go positive or negative. Sadly, we saw the result of negativity on our campus. Reporting from GC360, this is Jerry Osborne.